stealing from your daddy has done some damage on the zone. Oh, daddy's girl, your wings have torn her love apart. Struggling in this marriage, standing by the brink so dark. Your small ways is still joyful, my heart. Can't you see? <laughs> Now, what is going on? Oh, I don't understand what I say. Guy, you're busy setting the dining, cooking, while your wife is there, laughing, strolling around, taking selfies. Is that what you want for a wife? I married a wife, not a slave. Look, I understand that you married a wife and not a slave, but this is a shared responsibility. She should take her place. You're the man here, okay? She's your wife. She should help in the house choice. You cannot be doing anything now. Come on. Uh -uh. Take your place now, bro. Jeff, I married Jennifer for love, not for necessity. If she decides to come to the kitchen to help me cook, that's fine. I don't have a problem with doing all this by myself. <laughs> God. Bro, wait now. Now, just what they do you. See, let me tell you something, yo. There's more to relationship than just love. I hope you know that. So, you still bring out your phone. Okay. Okay. and do one or two things around the house now. I can't. I don't know how to do anything. You have a point. <sighs> Maybe you should just make some breakfast for us. Okay. I'll go and clean the house first then I'll make you breakfast. Okay? That will be nice. Breakfast in bed will be perfect. <laughs> no problem. I love you. I love you too. Uh. 
I'm also very hungry. I've been trying to place some food order online, but all the vendors are so far away. You didn't cook. Cook? <laughs> Babe, you know that I don't cook. You are the chef here. Maybe you should make us something to eat. I'm, I'm too tired. I don't know. I don't think I can. I'm very Baby, happy. please. So that we can eat in together. Please. Okay, I'll whip up noodles. Something quick. Noodles? You know I don't like noodles. Can't you make like special fried rice? You know, something like that. All right. All right? Okay. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Right. Okay, so I'll just help you take your bag upstairs while you make us some food to eat. Hi guys! So today I'm going to be showing you guys something very different. Yes, so I'm jumping on the new trend and I have been rehearsing this for quite some time now. So I'm going to show you. I learned some pretty new steps, not too basic. I'm going to just set this here. So I'm just going to make a move. Go. And hey. hi, babe. Is everything okay? Hey, babe. Well, yeah. I hear you screaming from the kitchen. Oh, uh, it's probably my TikTok video. Oh. Yeah. Okay. How's the laundry going? Uh, I'm almost done. Right. I'm so sorry. I would have helped you, but you know, I just made my nails. <laughs> That's fine. And I need to get back to my TikTok. Speaking of this TikTok and social media thing, I was thinking, don't you think it's time you? You know, join the workforce and earn some money for yourself. Earn some money? Oh, sorry, I'm trying. To... You mean like I should get a job? I mean, it's not. It's not really about getting a job. It's more like empowering yourself as a woman. You know, make a place for yourself in society. That kind of thing. Right. I have a husband and I have daddy, so I wouldn't be needing that. <sighs> Babe. You know all my money is yours. And I don't need your money. I just want you to make money for yourself. Besides, you don't know what will happen tomorrow. I don't want you to suffer now. Don't worry, I'm not going to suffer. Daddy will always be there for me. <sighs> and what happens when daddy passes away? <sighs> oh, come on. Stop it. Okay, you guys are going to probably have a trust fund, raise some money for me. If anything happens, I'll be good. Are you for real? <sighs> this thing is for you. It's for you to empower yourself. Make more money for yourself, buy more wigs, more clothes, anything you want. <laughs> Thank you very much, babe. I don't need a place in the society. I'm so sorry, oh, I need to get back to my video. Oh, you. Okay, guys, so just right as we were on back, so I was going to show you my new moves. <laughs> so I'll be busting the same thing again. Daddy's girl, oh daddy's girl, daddy's girl, oh daddy's girl. Brother Yemi, I really missed you. <laughs> I know, right? I missed you so much. But you're here for your embassy day now. You will soon leave me. <laughs> Baby, you know she can actually be of a lot of use while she's here. There's so much for her to do. How do you mean? 
Well, I mean, like, help out with some chores. That's not a problem, right? Oh, okay. I mean, this place is like my home. People walk in their home, right? Of course. Mm. <laughs> mm. Food is really tasty. Mm. You think so? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am going to have to check. I've checked my place already. Oh, I'm check this, guys. I don't have it. Hi. 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 Good morning, babe. Hi, baby. Hey, what? How's your night? Good, good. Florence, can you help me take this to the car? <sighs> Off to work? Yeah, yeah. That reminds me, you're meant to have guests today, right? What are you doing for dinner? Man, baby, I've been having such a hard time. I'm trying to place some order for food. Why not just cook instead of order? Cook? <laughs> Anyways, maybe you should get back early. Then you help me. <sighs> baby, you know that's the problem. I don't know when I'll come back. Um, uh, how about I tell Florence to help you? All right, perfect. I mean, she'll finally have some use in this house. <sighs> God, don't talk like that now. She's not dragging position with you. Well, I'm your wife. Yeah. And it's high time she knows her place. <sighs> Alright, I'll let her know on the way to the embassy. Okay. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Oh. Okay, let's continue. Oh, do I like this super sweet? Uh -uh. And you want me to finish from the embassy as fast as I can to come cook. What happened to your wife? I can't come back in. Can't you just do it for me? I can do anything for you, but cooking for you when you have a wife. Ah. Brother Yemi, I think you're pampering her too much. Oh. She doesn't cook, she doesn't clean, she can't do anything. Of what use is she as a wife to you? I love her. There's more to marriage than just love. She needs to take care of her home. So you're telling me now that if I was to be married, you would just tell me to leave my husband's house to come cook for you. Florence, are you going to help me do it or not? Like I said, I'll do anything for you. But you need to call out to order. You can't keep ordering for food every time. You can't. I just want her to be happy. No, she's not used to all of this. In her father's house, she didn't do much to her. Okay. She's no longer in her father's house. She is married to you and she lives in your house. She should take care of her home and take care of you. <sighs> Florence, I understand. I do. Well, she would learn. Honestly, you would have started this thing in your relationship days. And if she cannot handle it, she off. Ah, ah, Florence. This is my wife you're talking about. And I'm your cousin. I won't allow her to ruin your life. She has turned me into a slave. She has not turned me into any slave. This is how marriage works. When you get married to you, understand. We have to help each other. That is how marriage works. That's the foundation. She's not helping you. She's not helping you. You're the one doing everything. She's not helping. But I mean, she's not helping you. So are you still going to help me? I'll do it. Thank you, my best cousin. Yeah. Me alone. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. 
So uh, hi. I'm just going to hi. You're back. Yes. I guess you're here for the cooking. Mm. Yes, and I have to do that really fast. I have somewhere else. Oh, okay. Um, Florence, could you help me make something to eat? I'm really famished. Excuse me. You want me to make something for you to eat? What have you been doing since morning? I'm very sure you've been pressing your phone and you want me to make something for you to eat. I beg your pardon? Wow. Wait, so that's your problem. Hmm? So now let me tell you something, sweetheart. This is my life. My husband got married to me knowing very well that this is who I am. Princess treatment, that's all that I know, okay? Do you know what? I don't even know why I'm wasting my time talking to you. Of course. Maybe you should run along to the kitchen and go and start cooking the food. Even for my cousin, Yemi, that asked me to do this, I would have walked away. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Instead of you to get a husband. Even my cousin that asked me to do this. Run along. Go and start making the food. I wonder why you're even in your cousin's house instead of your husband's house. And that's why he's my cousin. Oh, please. Oh, that girl, your wings have fallen over apart. Strong in this marriage, standing by the brain so dark. Your spoiled ways is still joy from my heart. Can't you see? Why are you lying like that now? The doctor said you should always lie on your sides. Do you want to hurt the baby? I am perfect and my baby's fine. I will lie down anyhow I want to. So you, you, you think it's okay for your sister to disrespect me in my house? Eh? Your sister was raining insults on me today. <sighs> Florence will not do that. Florence will not do that. Wait, Yemi. So you're calling me a liar? Your sister was very rude to me because we asked her to cook. She was running her mouth, talking to me anyhow, like as if she was in her house. Eh? I'm no longer comfortable in this house. My baby and I were no longer safe. She has to leave. And it has to be tonight. Ah, babe. Tonight. I can't let her leave tonight. She's my sister now. And I'm your wife. Carrying your child. You have to look for how to fix her tonight because she's not going to sleep in my house. I don't trust her. I'm not comfortable. I can't even sleep. So please go and fix her. If you put her in the hotel, I don't know. Do something about it. But I won't sleep in the same house with your sister this night. So is it that she leaves or I take my baby and I leave? Choose one. Thank God, I have father's house. I'll just go. Can't you see you're tearing us apart? Oh, that is girl. To get him what you want. Baby, let me. Please listen to me. You chased me out of your house because of what your wife said. She's my wife. And I love her. If she wants you to go, I'm sorry, but you have to leave. Hey, I don't want trouble in this house. Please try and understand. Hey, Florence. Besides, this is a house. Hey, just. Get the hotel, I will pay for it. It's late! Yeah, order Uber. Okay? Please, understand. Let's go before it gets late. Before it gets any late herself. Uh, Florence. Ah, 
So your husband sent her away just like that? <laughs> of course. I mean, my husband loves me, so he will do anything to make me happy. Why do I have a feeling you're taking advantage of that? Marriage is all about uniting families and not chasing them away. Why are you supporting this? Ah, uh, trust me, we are better off without those his family members. Come on. I need to be in control. I need full control over my marriage. Jennifer, marriage is not all about control, okay? It's about love and understanding. If you keep acting this way, you will lose your husband. Even all the love you feel he has for you will just vanish. And you don't want to regret it. <laughs> Yemi. <laughs> Yemi loves me. Like he's in love with me. And he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Yemi loves me way too much. He's never going anywhere. <laughs> <sighs> Mm hmm. Oh. When is your flight again? Sometime next week. Oh, next week. That's pretty close. Yes. I'm even done buying everything I need to buy. I can't even wait. Like, I'm tired. Oh. Honestly, once it's my date, I'll move. Oh, man, I envy you. I wish it was me going. He is so exhausting. Wow. Do you have food in this house? I'm hungry. Dear. I don't know what Yemi cooked. You know, ah. he's the chef. So, Jennifer, you didn't even cook. Wait, um, You're so spoiled. Do you know, actually drinking your drink. Oh, yeah, give me. <laughs> Just give me. I thought it was mine all along. You don't have food in your house yet. You're <laughs> drinking my drink. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <sighs> Hi Jennifer, how are you? And the baby? <clears throat> Is that coffee? What does it look like? Of course you can see it's coffee. <sighs> Jennifer, I think too much of coffee is not good for your condition, trust me. Mm -hmm. Doctor, well who made you in charge of my pregnancy? Because I am very much fine. So much of pregnancy is not good for pregnant women. Look, something bad doesn't have to happen to you before you can make the right decision. Hmm. So now you're advising me. Hmm? What do you know about a woman being pregnant? What do you even know about a woman carrying a child? Do you have children? Have you had any woman pregnant for you, even once? Look, you don't have to be hard, okay? Leave your house and start poking and using people's business. Oh, Jeff, you're here already? Yes. And I was just advising your wife that too much of coffee is not good for, for, for her condition. And she's just saying things to me. I never even made you the judge. Hmm? See, Jeff, I appreciate your concern. Sincerely, I do. But you know, some habits are hard to kill. Hmm? I understand. For real, I do. And she's not taking much. Trust me. Babe, I don't understand. Why are you trying to explain to him? Who is this? See, um, Yemi, look, I just came to pick the clothes you want me to deliver to the club, okay? And if this is what I'm getting, look, I'll just be on my way home. Okay? Oh, yes, please. You can be on your way home. You guys should calm down. Uh-uh. Guys, come on, don't start this thing now. He's just trying to help out. Calm down. Then you go again trying to also explain to him. Hmm? I just want peace to reign. Hmm? Most you people fight. Jimmy, so please just, just go and bring the clothes so I can leave this place at back. Huh? You can even go now. Do you wait now? I don't for me, I beg. What's wrong with you now? Calm down. You know how she gets now. 
I'm not angry, but what I'm angry is about is the way you're pampering her. Look, what will happen if that baby comes? You'll be joined with so much drama and it's not healthy for you or anyone else. Well, she's my wife. I'm just trying to please her. By indulging her? Look, that is not how to show love. Oh. Listen, when you love someone, you correct them. When you love someone, you show them the right part and not turn a blind eye on the things that they do. Now tell me, what will happen if that pregnancy is, is due? Will she transfer it for you to push it for her? Eh? My guy, think I beg. Think I beg. Just give her time. She will adjust. Adjust? That woman in there is not ready to adjust. You are the one that will make her serious and that she should adjust. I don't tell you what I want to tell you. It's your life and it's your marriage. Me, I don't go. Ah. Yes. Yes, babe. Must you go for this party? Won't you be stressed? <laughs> babe, don't worry. This party, I have prepared for this party. Do you know how many people are actually expecting to see me at the party? There's no way I'm not going. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I'm going for the party, please. Ah, uh, I've dressed up. I know your dad is the one organizing the party for you. And you want to see your fans. But in your current condition, I don't think it's a good idea, oh. Especially if you know with this use. You cannot wear use to this part. It does not make sense. What are you saying? Wait, so you're saying that I should do what? I should wear slippers or flats? Me? Wear flats to a party? With the amount of people that are coming? Do you know the class of people that are coming for this party? How do you want me to look like someone that doesn't know how to dress? Ha! <sighs> Yemi, yeah, please, I beg. Jennifer, if you're not going to wear flats, I don't think you should go for this party. Said my own. Wow. So now you're trying to control me? I'm not trying to control you. I'm just being cautious. Look at your situation. What if what okay, what if the heel breaks? What if you slip and fall? Anything could happen now. Oh, anything can happen because you don't want me. No, to because go. you have my child in you. Oh, it's my child too. It's my child as well. And I am a very responsible mother. I can take care of myself and my baby. Please, I don't know what you're saying. Me, this party. Ha. There is no way. Let me tell you something. I am going for this party. And there's nothing that anybody can do. Excuse me. Jennifer! If I talk now, you say I'm talking. Jennifer.